let's look at our moving man again. Initially, he's at zero meters. And now he walks over to four meters and takes a rest. And then right walks another four meters to the house, and takes a rest. Then runs back to the tree, takes a rest, and then slowly returns. the initial position. So in this area, we see that there's a positive velocity. In this area, we also see a positive velocity because the slope is positive. In this section, we see a very steep negative slope Remember, he was running here, and so there is a negative velocity. So as he moved from the house over to the tree, very quickly, we saw him go very fast. So let's watch the motion and the video at the same time. So let's watch him move and our graph at the same time. So initially we see that he is not moving, then he moves to the positive direction, pauses, moves again in the positive direction, pauses, and then very, very quickly is running to the tree, pauses, and then takes off again, Looks like he must have tripped right here and continued to move until he gets back to the original position. So the motion was graphed relative to the position and time. By calculating the slope of each one of these segments, we can determine the velocity and graph that velocity. In this case, the velocity looks quite messy, but we see that there is a zero velocity and then there's a positive change velocity. Then there's a zero velocity again. We see a positive velocity here, which corresponds to this positive velocity. We see a zero velocity graphed, which corresponds with this flat line there. And then we see a huge jump to a negative velocity, so big that our scale doesn't show it. Then we have another zero velocity. And then we have his return trip where he trips over something. So trying to move at a constant velocity and back to the beginning. So velocity time graphs tell us how fast the speed and the direction at any time.